Wendy, folks, how are you? Welcome to day 87 of Linda's Luscious Limp Rooms. I already have my slippers off, so I am ready for some arm work today. How unexpected. Arms today, yes, good. Uh, so, let's do it. Hope you're very well. Thank you for joining me. Remember, do what's in your limit. You know the drill. Changing size, scale, uh, number, um, um, complexity, you know, just or just sit there and smile if you need to. That's fine. That's fine. Anything is good. Uh, so please take care of yourself because you don't need to be injured in lockdown. No, uh, that's silly. All right, let's do this. Day 87's playlist. Three, two, one, go. Understanding you with your feet, hip width apart, just for something different. Picking up the toes. Getting the balance between all parts of the feet, bend the knees. Breathing in and out. And remember the head just wants to passively rise up to the heavens. And right underneath your butt and the perineum, don't laugh, it sinks all the way down right into the centre of the earth. So you've got these two directions going. The head floats up, but the butt sinks down. And in the middle, you're just expanding up like a sphere in all directions. So not just front to back, not just up and down, not just side to side, every direction. Don't have to go as fast as me with this. Breathing deep into the belly, letting the small of the back relax. And blossom the hands out, breathe in. And out. Just go on your own pace. Shoulder blades sink down the back as the fingertips rise. The arm bones just become heavy in the shoulder joint, so they sink down. So someone else is pulling up the fingertips for you. The rest of the arm is heavy. Unclench your butt cheeks. This time we're going to go all the way down to breathing in. Bending at the knees, deflate down. Blossom the hands, sink the butt to rise up, breathe in, shoulder blades sink down, and breathing out, wash down. Blossom the hands out, sink the butt, fingertips rise, elbows are heavy, shoulders are heavy, butt's heavy, wash down. Good, now we're going to reverse the directions of breathing in. And out. Breathing in, drawing up through the body. Shoulders are still heavy. Rotate the hands at the level of the chest, push up. You can, you can have a very slight arch in the back if you want as you're pushing towards the ceiling. Breathing in, shoulders are sinking, butt is sinking. Look up to the hands if you feel like it's a slight arch. And back down. Good, staying down there, just roll through the shoulders. And the other way. Expel the air, breathe in to inflate the spine. We're rolling up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back down. Seven, six, five, four. Breathe in to inflate. And down. Breathing out. And roll the shoulders. And change direction. Expel the air, bend the knees, get ready to roll up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, just circle. Soften the knees, hands up. And breathing in. And out. In. Just let the butt hang super heavy off the spine. Head still wants to float up. Breathing in, breathing out, and fill with the breath. Gather in and express. And keep going. Elbows are heavy, shoulders are heavy. Good. Reverse the direction, drawing through the body. 
and feel the breath out. Breathing in. Of course, go in your own pace, breathing out, breathing in. Really let that pelvis be so heavy, it's hanging off the spine. Roll through the shoulders again. And just take them gently forwards. And just take a leg a little wider, reaching up. And just without bending the legs, just try and reach one hand higher than the other. Now imagine there's strings on all of the joints, they're stretching you up from the fingertips. Shoulder blades are heavy though, then someone cuts the strings on your fingers, then the wrists, then the elbows. Let's bend the knees a bit now, pull up from the elbows, everything else is heavy. The wrists and the fingertips, and then they're just pulling one hand in the other. Good, both up. Cut on the fingertips, then the wrists, then the elbows. Good. Just start to work through. Just start to straighten one leg then the other so you can get a little bit of a feeling of that blood that you just were storing up to the calf muscles just now. It's just rolling through the body. Good. And chicken backstroke. Now we're gonna go down two, three, four, then come up, two, three, go the other way, down, two, three, coming up. Now we're gonna go backwards on the way down and forwards on the way up. And again, going backwards on the way down and forwards on the way up. Good, and reversing going forwards on the way down. You can bend over if you like, going backwards on the way up, and forwards. And back. Good, reaching up, and stretch out the side of the walls, collapsing over. Drawing up, stretch out, touch the walls, bending over. Stretch and collapse over. Stay there. And just rotate forwards and out. Just sending the butt, butt bones away from you. Good, collapse down. Come back up again. And we're gonna do a ring. So I'm going one hand and the other. I can look down the arm. Collapse over. Just straighten the legs lightly till you find a stretch, then bend. Straighten and bend. If your hands are touching the ground, which they can be because you don't have to straighten the legs entirely, just dig the fingertips into the floor. So as you pull back against, now just arch through the spine so you feel like you're getting a stretch between the shoulder blades. Don't put any tension in the neck. Good, bending the knees, rolling up to the spine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And just start a push. Good, working through the floor with the feet. Good, settling out wide. And just hips. Arms just light for the moment. For the moment, front to back. Get the wrist going too. And circle. Change. Good, we're gonna go reaching out and then knee. I'm actually working behind the body, so I'm kind of turning around in the diagonal. So I'm getting a little bit of a stretch down this bit here. 
Now, if you're really feeling cool with it, put your arm up as well. You can let the wrist flick if the right is good, but it work through there. Multitasking is good. Keep going. I'm working fast, so I'm working light. Good, take the edge off the energy and just go the other arm. Behind and knee, behind and knee. And if you're starting to feel it, get the other arm going as well, behind. Nice and light, keep breathing. Good, bring the legs in and running arms. Slight bend in the knee, keep it light. If you grip hard, you're not going to go any faster, trust me. Okay, straighten the arms, but stay at the same pace. So don't go too, too big with the movement. Back to bent arms. Makes me feel surprisingly happy doing this. Try it arms. All right, slow it down, go bigger. Back to bent arms and fast. Yes. Okay, I'm going to call this the cockney dance. Go a little lighter and side to side. Sorry to any cockneys out there. And double. Yes, love it, lock down. Good. <laughs> and flat the arms. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Just bend the knee. And we're going to go one side, then the other is a scoop. Good, just bending down, and we're going to go side, center, other side, center. And again. Good, bending. Just take yourself to uh, this. <laughs> And we're going to go like we did yesterday. So it's going to be the opposite arm to leg, turning in. And four more. Three. Two. Good. Change. So it's the, whoops, it's the, you're using the same arm as the leg that's forward. It's not quite the same as yesterday. Good. Put the hands underneath the Andrew shoulder blades and just pick up into a hold. Stretch up into a down dog and then back into knees off. So I'm not going into a full down dog. Please don't push through the heels because we're not quite warmed up enough through the calves. But we're going to use this dynamic stretch to get there though. So the action, feel like you're actually, actually lifting your butt high. And down. Keep going. Up. Cut more. Good. Just going to go into walking through the heels now. Keeping the butt nice and high. And put a twist through that. Good, staying in a down dog now. Just going to reach through and down. 
So you can start to let the heels start to relax to the floor. Good, now we're going to combine those. So we're going to go down, up, hand, hand, down, up, hand, hand, down, up, hand, hand, down, up. Good. So take yourself down into a dolphin here. Keep up your toes, then down, then toes. And down, toes, down, good, knees down, just roll through the shoulders. Good, just take it a bit bigger so you're moving through the elbows as well. Good, tuck the toes under, lift the butt back up. We're going to do dips. So I'm keeping my elbows pointing towards my knees. Engaging through the shoulder blades. Four more. Four. Three. Keep those elbows pointing towards the knee. Last one. Beautiful. Knees down. And just roll through the shoulders. Yes, well done. Oh, you rocked it. Rolling through. And the other way. Good. Now, let's just pop into as if we were doing push ups on our knees and down this low bit. Sorry, that's not what I mean at all. I mean this. Good. Now, keep the elbows in. And we're just going to stay here for a bit. If you need to, you can just wiggle a bit from side to side. This is exciting, isn't it? We're going to stay here for one more set. Nearly there. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push up and into a uh, child's pose. Good. We're going to feel that later. Good, rolling through. Okay, so elbows still in. I'm going to turn this way so I don't hit the plant. Toes under. So we're going to go push up, down, out behind your butt, out, hand, push up. Push up, down, out, in, out, hands on the shoulders, pushing up. And again, one, two, out, behind, out, up, pushing up. And again, one, two, three, hands. Couple more. Last one. Good. Just push back into a child's pose again. Just rest there. Good. Swing it around. Put your toes, your toes, your fingers towards your butt. And we're just going to push up. And let's do some tricep dips while we're here. So we go. One. So fingers pointing towards your butt. Two. Three, four more, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Just scoot yourself down. And just alternate arms moving. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and again. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Good. Bring the hands towards your side. Just imagine someone's pulling the fingertips forwards and just pulse with the arms. Now, it's really important with this, you're taking this through the core and not through the neck. So, pulse. Bring the hands forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Bring the hands forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Bring the hands forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight.
anyone here is one of my vet friends, every time I hear the word pulse, I still think of Patrick Wright. Here you go. Alright, let's just bring these cheeky legs up, shall we? And just straighten them one after the other. Good. Keep going. We're going to pulse backwards. Just be gentle with your arms here. Don't go too far to your extreme of movement. Good. And down. On your side. And we're going to do the side push-ups. But what we're going to do is we're going to go push up. One, two, three. Push up. One, two, three. Three. Push up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. Two more. Up. One, two. Last one. Up. One, two. And change. Tell you what, by the time we get to our push up uh, section, it's going to hurt a bit, isn't it? Here we go. And pushing up. Up, one, two, three, and go. Up, one, two, three. Up, one, two, three, and up, halfway. One, two, make sure you put your hand underneath the shoulder to this one, three, three, and up, two, and two more. Up, one, two, three, and up. One, two, good. You're doing so well today, I'm loving it. Into a high push up. We did this last week. I'm just avoiding the plant. So I'm gonna turn, whoa, stretch out my arm. <laughs> I'm gonna turn, reach up and down. Up and down. Up sideways and down. And let's go double time though if you feel comfortable. So up, two, three. Now keep the arms straight the whole way up so they're open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay there. Just go onto the side. One. So don't turn the body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. All right, people. We're going to do our push up sequence. But we're going to skip the elbows in because we've already done a lot of that. So, elbows out, thumbs up, diamonds. As many as you can in this set of eight, doing quality. Over quantity. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and one. Squeeze the shoulder blades in together. So you're taking the workload through the back, not the biceps. That's halfway. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good stuff. So make sure you draw your shoulder blades in together so that you're not taking it through this bit. Thumbs up. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Next one is our favorite diamonds. Whew. So hands like this. Get the wrist going. All right, here we go. Diamonds. Five, six, seven, eight, and. One, two, three, use the back, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. From here, up into a down dog straight away. That was mean, wasn't it? Lift up, stretch. Use this as your relax. <laughs> Bend the knees, walk the hands in. And relax. Rolling up to the spine. Now you thought I'd forgotten the um, 
arms extended outwards. No, I hadn't. I'm just doing them now. So, nice wide stance. Take the arms out. Let's do this. And bounce. So it's interesting to do it after you've already done the push-ups. So not only the hips, you're more than welcome. Turn them up and keep bouncing. Doesn't this feel great? It really does. Turn them to the front and keep bouncing. It's like you're doing a really weird handshake. And you guessed it, turn, turn them to the back, keep bouncing. That one feels interesting. Good, flatten the hands off when we're in a circle. So think about extending outwards, lightening off through the neck. Keep circling in the same direction, but turn the hands up. Smile, it makes it easier. Keep the hands up, go backwards. Good. Push back. Yes, people, loving it. Go a little lower the legs, why not? Let's just share the pain. Now we're gonna do one hip forwards, one hip back. So we go one, two, one, two, one, two. You're probably feeling if your neck's getting tight, just encourage, encourage it to let, to let go. So it hurts me too. And we're gonna do little circles up. Keep going. Smile through the pain, makes it easier. All right, see if we can keep them up. And we're gonna take the hands up the front. Drawing a big circle. Make it tiny. Middle size. Big size. Good, and widen. You love it. Good, take it to a reach. Uh, push, sorry. And now opposite arm into a reach. Send the other arm out behind as well. And diagonally up. Keep your body low, don't rise and fall in between. And going down. Spidey pose. Good, coming up. Fitting your uh, earphones. All right, shoulders. Two in a circle. One, two, circle. One, two, circle. One, two, circle. Good, and hips. Good, arms up. And arms down. Like you're trying to floss, but really not doing it right. Good, feet in. And circling round on, on the balls of your feet. Arms at mid height. Good. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Roll through the shoulders. That was inspiring, wasn't it? All right, good. Bend your knees, arms up, and circle. The arms might feel tired when you do this, so think about reaching up, like you're trying to form a perfect circle on the, on the ceiling, and let the rotation come 
from thorax. Change direction. Only go as far forward as you can go back. So you don't want this. You should be just reaching up towards the ceiling. Good. Just change arms. And circle. Good, and change direction. Keep going, keep smiling, it'll help. I always hear someone telling me to fuck off when I say that. <laughs> okay, good. Reaching across the body, just doing a tricep stretch. Keeping the shoulders square. And changing arms. Good stuff. Legs nice and wide. Pick up the toes on this foot, turn them out. And let's reach forward this way. So reaching forward with the fingertips. Bend the knee. And then straighten again. Bend, rolling up through the spine. And the other foot out. Reaching forwards. Bend the knee, come down and stretch again. Bend the knees, rolling up. And just bend the knee out. Reach, actually let's keep the toes this way and change my mind, go sideways. If you want, you can invert the hands. Reaching up from the outside blade of the foot all the way through to the fingertips. Good. Changing over. Stretching from the outside blade of the foot all the way through to the fingertips. Good, coming up. Rolling out through the wrist. And change direction. Good. Bend the knees, just nice and easy. Rotating through the spine. Keep the arms super floppy. They probably want to be floppy right now. Time goes so fast, you know. Knees are bent, keep going, but keep the head facing forwards. So you're just turning through the shoulders, hips are also facing forwards. Nice and released. This is to get rid of any of the tension that we've developed through the course of the exercise. Good, and then I'm just going to take this off. So, um, just find a wall or a window frame and just stretch out through the pecs. Good. And any other way. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, hey? Good to be alive. Yes. Good. And then just to finish, roll down through the spine. Put the right hand on the outside of the left foot. And just turn the left hand towards the ceiling. If you're off balance, looking up, by all means, please look down towards the ground, but try and touch that left fingertip on the ceiling. Good, just relax down, work out the shoulders. And the other way, left hand on the outside of the right foot. And up. Coming down, put the weight on the ball of the right foot, bend the knee, put the left leg out. If you can reach your toe, your position is fine, keep a stretch, otherwise you can reach the ball of the foot. Block. Make sure this knee is over your toe. And to multitask, take the other hand and extend it out towards diagonally and down. Good, soften the left leg, just take the hands down. Bring the foot back in, put the weight on the ball of the left foot, keep the knee bent, take the right foot out, put the toe up, if you can reach it too. Stretching. And bend, just take, the, take yourself into an A-frame, just hang over. Just, if you're feeling comfortable, you can put the arms in a cross, cross your arms, and really let the head be heavy. Legs are straight but not locked. And if you want them from here, you can just do some swings. Head super heavy, like your 
you're trying to almost drag it on the bottom of the ground. And then let's do some figure of eights. And then change the direction of the figure of eight. Good, back into the center, just wiggle it out, wiggle it out, facing the head. And then creeping the fingertips out as far as they can, just dig them into the floor and pull the butt up towards the ceiling. Try and put the thighs on the wall behind you. Pull back against that stretch of having the fingertips on the floor. And bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. Nice one. Oh, and the sun's sort of come out just towards the end. Ah, uh, good. Feel free to keep on stretching because uh, you might be a bit stiff after today. We'll see how we go. Um, there's been a few new things, but also the combination of things was a little different today. So just monitor that. Please stretch out. Um, you know, use heat packs. Do you have a bath? Have a bath? God, I wish I had a bath. Um, uh, but a yeah, massage, all that kind of thing. Call in favors from the person you're allowed to see if you're in lockdown. <laughs> Otherwise, just do it by yourself. It's fine. It's good. It's good. Uh, anyways, I'm just chatting now. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow for leg day. We're almost towards day 90. Ah! Uh, leg day tomorrow. So in the meantime, drink lots of water, keep yourself safe, have lots of coffee as well. <laughs> and anyway, um, sorry, I'm really just telling I should go. Uh, lots of love to you all. Thank you for joining. And please be kind to yourself and to others. Thanks so much, team. Bye.